Hi and welcome to Telly Tuesdays. I'm Scott Poley and this week we're going to look at six ways to improve the sound and playability of your Telecaster without changing the pickups. So here we go. Number one, tuning stability is a big deal no matter what instrument you play. But particularly for Telecasters, the traditional bridges and saddles don't really allow you to fully intonate your Telecaster. So, I recently bought two sets of these Goto saddles, they're called Intune saddles. There are other brands available, I'll link them in the description. But they actually have inbuilt intonation adjustment that allows your guitar to play more in tune, especially if you're playing chords up the neck. They make a huge difference, they're cheap and they're effective, I recommend them highly. Number two, pots. You may not think they'll improve your tone, but my god, not having a scratchy pot when you're next doing a gig or a session makes a big difference. I recommend CTS and Bourne's pots, they're the ones that are in all my guitars. Um, they're pretty much the industry standard and they make a huge difference for relatively little investment. I also have a treble bleed circuit fitted on my volume control. That's a resistor and a capacitor. I use the Seymour Duncan circuit, I'll link that in the description below, but it's literally one resistor and one capacitor. Uh, a guitar tech or repair shop can have that fitted for you and it makes a huge difference and keeps your tone as you turn down the volume as well. Number three. Okay, so while you're in there replacing your pots and fitting that treble bleed circuit, do yourself a favor and just get the wiring done to the best it possibly can be, get some good quality capacitors fitted for your tone circuit and also get a really good quality switch. These things aren't too expensive and they're not expensive to have fitted but they do make a huge difference. The nut. You may not think this little thing has a lot to do with the tone of your guitar, it's just to hold the strings as they go over towards the machine heads. But this thing really does make a difference. If you have like a porous material it will grab onto the strings and stop them moving across causing tuning issues, causing the notes to drop off and not sustain as long. I use a vintage bone nut in my guitar and it makes a huge difference and I highly recommend those. In order to maintain your Telecaster a little bit easier, I would recommend these electro socket jack plates. They really do make a difference. Um, if you want to pull the jack socket out quickly to tighten it up or just maintain it, it's a pain on traditional Telecasters to be honest as I'm sure some of you have had the problems with that. This is really quick, it's just held in by two screws so you can pop those out quickly and maintain your guitar and they're very inexpensive. I'm not endorsed by anything in this video guys, I'm just recommending them to you from years of modifying my own guitars. I've also just come across this thing, it's called a Pure Tone Jack Socket. I had one fitted to this recently. Unlike a kind of Neutrik style even jack socket, the pure tones, as you'll see in this photo, hold your jack plug as it goes in, so it's you know, better contact, less likely to pull it out on a gig. They're great, very effective, great new design, so yeah, big shout out to that. Moving on. Okay, my final recommendation, and this is a little bit more expensive, but worth every penny, is to sort out your tuners. Get some good quality tuners, they don't have to be that expensive, but they're not you know, super cheap. I've been using Goto tuners recently. They're built great. They don't have to be locking or anything like that. I mean, great if that's what you want, but just a good quality set of tuners and make sure they're nicely lubricated and stuff like that. It's an investment worth making in my opinion. I hope this video has been useful to you guys. You know, this is just stuff I've been experimenting with over the years. Have you got any little top tips for your Telecaster to keep it in tune or make it sound better? Or is there anything else you want me to cover on these Tele Tuesdays? Please let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next week.